I see one viewer. How are you? Oh. Me, I'm having a massive fucking migraine today. It's like right in here. You know what I mean? Hi, Caroline. Hi, Scrub. How are you, beautiful people? Just wanted to talk to people. I know it is, Ted. I don't have any Tylenol scrub. I wish I did. How did my night go? Um, we pretty much fell asleep. <laughs> I put on some, like, um, alien documentaries and fell asleep, basically. I don't know why I like alien documentaries, but they do, they do, like, help me to sleep. And sometimes you always get, like, that goofy, like, really freaky, like, crazy person and you start laughing. Hi, Teddy. I do need a teddy bear hug. Am I mad at you? Bubble tea? Um, I just wish people would stop doing the, the get a job joke to me because it's not funny. Because it's like, if I could, I would. But it's like, when you're too fucking sick to work, it, it really fucking like, and you're going through a lot, it, it, it really, it really does drive you nuts to be like that. That's why I said it's ableism, because it is ableism. You know, t telling someone who is disabled they need to work is ableism, period. And, and very rude and insensitive to do to someone. It's snowing in Colorado. I'm sorry. Hi, baby. You want me to do a shout out to your boy? Well, okay. What's up, CF? How you doing? What's up, kitty? Love you too. Member equals no ads. Exactly, man. If you don't want no ads, hit that membership, man. It's just how Twitch works. <laughs> just think of it as TV. My hair looks pretty today. I, I don't know. It's... It... <laughs> I really like <laughs> I don't I don't feel pretty. I feel very ugly lately. Smooth like Carrie Gold. Oh, that's sweet of you. How do you become a member? Uh you click the member button, the subscribe button, I guess. He's a bonkers. And twenty one gaming, why do you want me to say that? Like, I'm not dumb. <sighs> also, ads equal bathroom breaks for Ted. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> yeah, I didn't realize you were a troll, 21. That's the thing. 
and cough up the money for shout outs. Jesus, nah, that's okay. <laughs> My eyes are glassy and red. It's like right here, right here. And I've slept, tried to sleep through it and everything. And it's just like, it's just right fucking there. You know, I've been like doing this with my hoodie, not looking in like the light because it's just like too much. <laughs> Poop in your pants and get in the gravy leg is no fun. Jesus, that's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're not blocked, Krista. Will you ever go back to YouTube? Hell no. Hell no. Did I ever go to Casa Bonita? Beautiful home. Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think the big C spread to your brain? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it is a tumor. Could be a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> Thank you, Puffy Kitten, for subscribing to Tier 1. <laughs> Shanny, you're always so pessimistic. Well, when you have a life like mine, and everything you, every plan you ever had went up in a big giant ball of flames and went to hell, you, you tend to be pessimistic because you realize that I'm never going to get what I, I really want or desire. So fuck it. If Gary pays you the money he owes you, apologizes, will you be friends with him again? He has to do a lot more than apologize to me. Like a lot. He is so fucking dicky to, to me. So is. Oh, I'm covering the mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is your goal in life like from here? To try to be happy? <laughs> what do you really want, desire? I don't get it. Well, I wanted to be successful in life. I didn't get that. I wanted a simple life with a husband and my kids and my kitty cats and a nice home. I didn't get that. I wanted a garden. Didn't get that. I wanted to have a relationship with my father. I didn't get that. Yeah, it's just a lot. My hand isn't on the mic. Be honest here. If you did like a self-care spa day, you might feel better. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> What do you have now that you always wanted? Um. Yeah. 
there's your answer. <laughs> Thank you, folks, for Jesus. No, I'm very, I, I know I'm very pessimistic and disenfranchised with life. You know, I'm just done with it, man. Do I think my kids will resent me when they grow up? No. There is some shit going on today. I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see everything. It's going by fast. Hydrotherapy, oh my god, you mean the pool exercises? I love doing that stuff. Oh. I didn't abandon my children, you idiot. I wish I could get a tube of fucking anti-fungal cream. <sighs> nah, man, I'll just be honest. I'm, like, so done with this earth, man. I was, like, I looked into what happened with Balenciaga and the freaking, like, pedo shit with them. Like, really, you're going to have kids with SMM? Like, and then, and then the worst of it was these naked toddlers covered in blood playing with limbs. And I, I, I just, I give up on this world, like completely after seeing that. Like, I'm done with that shit. Yeah, I can still crochet. What's mineralitis? I've never heard of it. Go away, psycho. My question is, why is my kids any of your concern in any of your fucking business? That's what my, my, my question is. <sighs> yeah, I banned her. Oh, God, it was 50 this morning, now it's in the 20. Yeah, it's like overcast, gross, disgusting bullshit. <coughs> it's snowing in Colorado. Oh, okay. Thank you, folks, for Jesus. How do you feel about Negs being sued? Negs is getting sued for what? I didn't know that. I don't. I'm not into the drama or the freaking bullshit, really. I mean, I'm on Twitter and I see that um, DC Media Girl is like sounding off and shit like that, but drinking coffee. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Your kids made snowmen. I love that. Mm. I miss Rev, though. His laugh lights up a room, and I love to see... 
the love he has for Shanny. Aw, see bonkers, that's sweet. Mm. I hear the cat tearing up your couch. <laughs> was that a watermelon or a that was a that was a Gavin. Shani, do you know how it feels to get food without e-begging? It feels nice. No, never. I was born in 1983 and I always e-begged. Can you put in a prayer for my finals? Yeah, Donkle. May Donk, dear Jesus, may Donko have a wonderful, wonderful time at his finals and get all A's and ace it and be just amazing in his work and give him all the answers to the questions. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. <laughs> what is e-begging? I was born in 93. Idiots trying to start problems. Scrub. Does Walmart deliver to you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. My wife is a beautiful, <laughs> thick-thighed goth girl, and she's praying for you, too. She loves you, Shani. Oh, I love, I love, I love that. Thank you, Ted. You enjoy your thick-thighed goth girl? That's something that Jason loves, anyway. He would probably be like, thank you for that. Yeah. What is e-begging? <laughs> Trying to gain money on the internet. that That's what e-begging is. It's stupid. Because everyone fucking does it. Uh. Do I consider myself goth? I used to. Back when I was a teen. I did goth all the time. I'm a thick thighed right girl, I guess. Yes, you are, Krista. And that's a good thing. <laughs> no, I don't have a wish list for Christmas. Will I perform? Will me and Rev perform at your birthday? Holy crap! What do you want us to do at your birthday? Would it be like Paris Hilton or something, and just like running the party or something? <laughs> It'd be cool to see the Shanny goth phase, or maybe it's time to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, I guess, instead of the frumpy Shanny type bullshit. <laughs> Do I miss being a goth? Um... I just take life as it is. Well, thank you, Mark. Did you listen to Typo Negative? No, I didn't listen to Typo Negative. I was more into corn. <clears throat> Always been into corn and Alice in Chains. Um. Oh, and Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> Dead. <sighs> they make a good Joker and Harley Qu Quinn. Thank you. We should do that again. I was the cool 90s goth, yeah, with, like, the chains on the neck and everything. 
Oh, you think Billy Corgan sucks, really? I can't say that about him, man. Totally respect him. Yeah, you liked I ICP when I was 20. Was my first concert. More tomorrow. I'll be 48. Oh, well, happy birthday or early birthday to you. <clears throat> my first concert. What was my first concert? I got to think. Like, I've been to concerts when I was a kid, but, like, my first concert was, like, without parental supervision, I guess. Uh, I would say it probably would be... It was... Okay, it was... Uh, the Goo Goo Dolls with... Um, oh, what the fuck is his name? I like to fly... Uh, what, what the fuck? Uh, Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. And then there was another band. I forgot who they were. I wasn't a juggalo, though. I'll say that. Whoop, whoop. Still have a Fago bottle that was kicked at my head by Shaggy. Shaggy's a shit. <laughs> Congratulations, scrub. <clears throat> you just saw Jelly Roll a couple months ago. Oh, okay. Hi, Frank. How are you, sweetheart? So not a juggalo, just cool with them. I'm the same. Yeah, right? I have no problem with, like, ICP. I just wasn't, like, an ICP person. Didn't do the dress and shit. <laughs> like I said, I was more into corn. <clears throat> Depressed emo music, pretty much. <laughs> Stained, yeah. Well, Stained wasn't teenage years. Stained was, like, me in my 20s. Okay. <sighs> Did I eat today? No. Somebody was supposed to send a pizza. Yeah, someone was supposed to send a pizza. Right? And here's this motherfucker taking... A, we, we saw this fucking bitch, like, take a fucking picture of outside our car, so whatever. Asshole stalkers. <laughs> yeah, I'm still accepting donations, Kitty Queen. Where did I work at 20? Oh my god, I gotta think. Oh, okay. I actually... Okay, I gotta think. I think I had... I, I had a lot of jobs at that time, actually, but... Around 20, I had, like, three jobs. I was working at Burger King, Kmart, and a film development place back in the day. Right on uh, Boulder Boulevard. Yeah, people are creepy. It was, like, this woman, and she was, like, fucking smiling outside her fucking SUV, taking a fucking picture. Scrub, if you want to door dash me a pizza, I'd be happy as a fucking clam. Jesus. Junior high was vanilla ice, steal my hype jam. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah, back when I was, like, fit, I used to work all the time, man. I used to work all the fucking time. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> it's my fave song to bounce juggle to. 
Yeah, you can go to Shani Needs Love at Instagram and message me privately. <sighs> Did you hear Vanilla Ice is like rock, rock? He's pretty good at it, actually. I like Vanilla Ice. I always did. Oh, 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 back in the day, the freaking, when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie came out. Yeah. Uh, what was it? Uh, go Ninja, go. Go Ninja, go. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. <laughs> that was. <sighs> That's true, homeless. You learn to live it with it and adjust. Exactly. It doesn't matter, Kitty. I saw Vanilla Ice's new metal band in 2012. That's awesome. Do you feel like a parasite? Well, a parasite is someone who leeches off another entity. Um, no, I feel like the person who's being leeched off. In fact, I think most reaction channels are parasites. So, they're the parasites. I'm the host. There you go. You wanted to give Vanilla Ice some babies back then. You should have seen, like, did you see that Madonna, like, erotica book that she had? Like, you can see Vanilla Ice's schlon in it. Like, Madonna's, like, holding on to it and shit, too. <laughs> you wonder where the fire truck went? I have no idea. Stevie Nicks is the queen. That's that's true. <laughs> You've seen Stevie Nicks over twelve times, you lucky. You're so lucky. I love that woman so much. Well, thank you. Enjoy your time, isolationist, with the kiddos. I love Stevie, too. There's some days where I just totally, like, just listen to every single song she makes. <laughs> she does still sound great I love watching the old videos with her and Tom Petty singing together I think her and Tom Petty are just an amazing duo together thank you Qu Kitty Queen Bean what's my favorite song by Stevie I think The Chains You dress your granddaughter up like her. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I, th I think I like that the best. Oh. I wish Fleetwood and Mac would get back together, but I don't know if they will. Leather and Lace is yours. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm existing nerdy. My daughter's cry when she was a baby sounded like Stevie Nicks voice in a way. Oh my God, that's so cute. That's so cute. I wish I had a girl. 
<laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I was like watching the news. I had to turn that shit off. It's just so fucking depressing. The news. Just one bad thing over another. And, you know, Kanye's going crazy right now. And I don't know how to fucking help Kanye. I wish we could. Yeah, they do have the Skittles gummy. Those, they're, they're, they're not as tasty as Skittles. I'm just saying. <laughs> She's 13 now. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> Poor Kanye. How is Rev feeling today? Manic. <laughs> Manic as shit. The Starburst gummies. Have I tried those? I th yeah, the Sour Starburst. Jason got them. Yeah, I've had them. Well, yeah, that is true, Dunkelberg, that Kanye is the sane one when it comes to Balenciaga. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he, he posted for Balenciaga. Wow, look at this. The audience is saying Kanye is being silenced. It's spilling truths. No one wants to be out. Yeah, man. Can I send you a few dollars? I need a can of chew. Yeah, can you send me a few dollars so I can send you a few dollars back so you can get a can of chew? <laughs> you want a trick with Starburst? This is a little sex trick, right? To make your woman happy. Use a Starburst and um, go to town, uh, you know, down under. And um, you will enjoy it. She will definitely enjoy it. And um, just try it. It's a good little trick. Jason loves that shit. He loves doing the Starburst thing. Hmm, I think Shani would be, would like Jolly Ranchers better. Um, I like Swedish Fish. I'll be honest. <laughs> I like the Grape Jelly Ranchers and then Green Apple best. Oh, Speaking of Grape Jelly Rancher, here's here's a good boozy drink for people. It's called the Grape jo jo It's called the uh, Grape uh, Tootsie Roll. And it's basically um, Kahlua, uh, Grape Pucker, and Orange Juice. And it tastes just like a Grape Tootsie Roll. It's amazing. I love that. I loved that drink back in the day. What about Finnish fish? I've never had Finnish fish. I do like Finnish uh, licorice, though. Their licorice is really good. If you ever find Finnish licorice. <laughs> they, there was this, like, um, when me and Jason lived in Colorado, it's just a foodie place, man. There's just such great food there. There was this, like, Finnish licorice there that we always got. It was so good. <laughs> it gets... I, I, I like the taste. I suck on them. Whenever I have a gummy, I suck on it. I don't chew it. Oh, the Ben and Jerry's fish food. Yeah, that's that. I've had that before. I think. Yeah, I've had it. They're like little caramel fish, right? I think. I think I had that. Very similar to um, moose tracks in a way. Except peanut butter. It's caramel, and I love caramel. 
I love it very much. <sighs> Migraine, will you please go away? Please, Jesus, can you take this migraine away? Did you guys hit up Mountain Man for snacks? Who's Mountain Man? I don't know what you're talking about, Mountain Man. Caramel rots the teeth so much sugar. It's the taste, though. It's the taste of caramel. Oh, my God. Neater's. Okay, there's a place called Neater's Bakery. And they have this, like, French toast. And their caramel sauce on the French toast is, like, the greatest caramel I ever had. Like, I'm sorry. It is so good. But I don't eat a lot of sweets. I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't get a lot of sweets either. My sweets are like... Usually like old lady candy. Or... Or maybe like... Uh, like... Like a tasty cake or a little Debbie. Those are the usually the things. What's my favorite pie? Pumpkin. <laughs> nothing bubble tea. I did nothing for Thanksgiving. Seriously. I just cuddled the husband. That's what we did. We cuddled each other. And I had pasta with nothing on it. <laughs> It was awful. And I avoided the internet like a plague because I was, I didn't want to see everyone with their Thanksgiving meals. And. <laughs> it's like, man, everyone's celebrating and I'm not even doing anything. I actually enjoy Chubb's cucumbers as a snack. Yeah, cucumbers are the best snack. Ooh, French apple. Oh, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> do you have a pan to boil so maybe Jason could do a little cooking stream? I don't think he's interested in going online like he's not doing good guys like he's really sick of the bullshit at the end of the day I'll be honest he's just sick of it it's just too much it's just like constant fucking criticism constant for stupid shit or stuff that isn't even true I don't blame him I don't blame him. Thank you. What, babe? Thank you. You're welcome. You know, it just, it like, it gets too much sometimes. To having to deal with the fucking bullshit over and over and over again. Like, people really need to learn how to forgive and let go. Like, I, 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 I'm a true believer of that, is forgiving and let go. Is that why Jason doesn't come on live anymore? Yeah, he was pushed off it. He doesn't want to fucking deal with it. You know? He's a nice guy, and, and all these people that fuck with him, he's actually legitly helped a lot of fucking times. So, like, to him, it's like, I've helped you guys. I've, I've treated you better than most people and this is how you treat me like it, fuck that I don't have to fucking deal with that shit you know there's only so many times you get betrayed before it's like fuck this shit 
you know. Yeah. He, I added glasses to Gavin. <laughs> If I turned my life over to Christ. <laughs> Bro, I turned my life to Christ a long time ago, dude. A long time ago. And if you actually listen to Jesus, he said you will have tribulation. But be glad, for I have overcome the world. <laughs> A shanty for Christ, literally in the title, bro. I, I, they must be really new. Like, they don't know that I used to be shanty for Christ. Can I make Gavin Kit Kat merch, please? Oh my god. We could make so much money off Gavin mm. by making merch about him. Yeah, I know a lot of people would buy his merch. He said he would take care of you if you believe in him. Yeah, he does. I'm still here, bro. Where is my Gavin Kit Kats? You played soccer in the rain. Speaking of soccer, U.S. is going against Iran today. And on the back of the shirt, it should say, It's a boy. Yes! Mm -hmm. Remember when you guys were on Tiger King? Of course, man. That was like 2020, like... Everyone's stuck in their fucking house. We can't fucking do shit. So let's watch fucking the whole series of Tiger King. <laughs> Watermelon got glasses. Aw. Watermelon's a good girls. She's cute. She is. She's a good girls. She's cuddling her daddy right now. I've watched that about 30 times. I know, right? And then, here's the thing. Carol Baskin's husband is alive. So it's like, all that shit they did to Carol saying she's a murderer was a total bullshit internet rumor lie. And she's actually really easy to talk to, is Carol Baskin. It's interesting. I've talked to Carol Baskin plenty of times. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, her husband is alive? Yeah, he's in a South American country. Um, remarried to, or married to, like, another woman. He's a total dirtbag. <clears throat> no, I wasn't on the show. I just contacted Carol Baskin. And talk to her on her YouTube channel. He's alive. Yeah, look it up. Carol Baskin's husband is alive. He's alive and thriving in South America. It's shocking, man. <laughs> he just left her ass with the tigers. I mean... The whole idea of him being ground up was kind of interesting, but it didn't happen. <laughs> it was just a rumor started by fucking Joe. <laughs> oh, I found it so sad when everyone was do when uh, Trump was doing the presidential pardons and Joe thought he was going to be pardoned out of prison. He sent a freaking limousine waiting to be pardoned out of prison and it never happened. Did Carol say that? No, the FBI said that. The FBI tracked him down. Like, look it up. Just Google it. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Oh, God, Ted. Why would you drink a gallon of prune juice? You ain't no clean on. It ain't no warrior drink to you. It's a freaking shit fest. Do I want Joe to get out of prison? Well, can't. He's dead. Joe's dead, dude. He died. Constipation? Jesus. Well, I don't think you're going to be constipated anymore. Another way how to stop constipation. Have you ever tried Epsom salt and water? <laughs> You'll be shitting for days doing the Epsom salt and water shit. Yep. And Joe's dead. I've only met one famous person, the British Bulldog from the 1993 Denny's, California. <laughs> <laughs> Had a Denny's. I'm on an emotional roller coaster. Me too. Enemas are good for constipation. Um, a fleet, a fleet, uh, kit would help you with your constipation too. I've done plenty of fleets in my life where I stuck it up my bunhole to poop. No, Joe is dead, dude. Her husband, Carol Baskin's husband, is not dead. No, Joe died in prison. I heard that. Let me see. Let me see. Was it an internet thing? Okay, you're right. I was wrong. I apologize for that. I thought he died. Oh, there's going to be a Tiger King too. Sweet. Well, good to know he's still alive. Next time, you know, be better with people. Let me see. Carol... Baskin's husband. <sighs> yeah, it's from here. New, it's from Sky News. Tiger King. Wait, wait. Except all. Tiger King star Carol Baskin is glad to hear ex-husband is apparently alive and well in Costa Rica. Here, I'll post that for you guys. So you guys can see that. We got a wind advisory. Thank you, Still Shirty, for subscribing, by the way. I just saw that.
Ted has wind advisory. I know, he's gonna blow his ass out. The fuck is this shit? Can you go a little faster than stop being an asshole? I'm trying to see the wind advisory. Oh, fuck this shit. Chrome is the only thing that works. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm sorry about that. I I I respect you as a volunteer fighter fighter though. That's awesome. May Jesus heal your back. <clears throat> I get you though, man. My ba my back is messed up too. I got arthritis in the back, so I get you. Am I supposed to donate per pound? Sure, Lily. Sure, you can donate to me per pound. You can do like five dollars a pound. People say I'm five hundred, so that's five hundred times five. So it's $2,500. That'll be cool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You have scoliosis. I have friends who uh, had that. Your lupus is flaring up. <laughs> yeah. Arthritis when the temps drops with me I'm just I'm I'm down and out man. I'm taking a shot everything you scratch your forehead so my forehead itches. Get over it. You make these things in such big deals. It's so dumb. I hope one day Alice you grow the fuck up. Oh, I remember getting getting checked for scoliosis too as a kid. I they would like make you bend over and they'd feel your spine. Do they still do that? I don't think they do. I don't know what my size is anymore. I've lost so much weight to tell you the truth, Caroline. And I haven't gone shopping, so I got to get that. I, I got to figure that out. Thank you, Still Shorty. Am I talking about negs? No. No. Not at all. <laughs> what do you mean, what's up with my nails? What's wrong with my nail? Is it short? Does it, is it, does it, does it, does it hurt you that it's short, my nails? Like, what is it with this random fucking body part of you? It's a weird generation we live in. Back in my day, we didn't give a fuck how people looked, and we didn't ask questions about why they looked the way they are, they do because it was fucking rude. <laughs> Back in my day, you probably get your ass fucking beat for that shit. You wish you had some vodka? No, that sounds like Harper and I'm going to throw up shit. <sighs> red wine is better. Yeah, I I I love red wine. 
I'll drink that. I won't drink some vodka. I'm 44. I'm older than you. Well, your maturity is like five. Five-year-olds ask question. Why do you look that way? Not grown-ass adults, honey. <sighs> you wound up with a membership named someone named Hussy? Miss Hussy. I miss Hussy. It's a tragedy. Darling. No, Miss Hussy's actually really cool to watch. They, like, show you downtown New York and shit. It's fucking cool. What's my favorite clothing store? I don't have one. I just go into a store and get what I like. <laughs> Do a red wine bees? Nah. Ugh. <sighs> Your Pichu is evolving? Yes. Lane Bryan? No, I don't like Lane Bryan. It's way too old lady. Like, if I was going to go to a, like, a bigger girl store, I don't even know if I can get them. Anyway, I'd probably go to Torrid instead of Lane Bryan. Yeah, I know. The internet has made everyone rude. He's lucky he's playing the new Pokemon. I want to play Pokemon Violet. I want to play it. I want to I want to catch a Pikachu and shit. I like to buy dresses online and then just pray that they fit me. Yeah, especially those dresses that come from freaking China. And you think you got the size, and no, it's like for a size 3, and it's like, what the fuck, this set is size 12. Nah. Check my Instagram. Okay, one minute. Put on my glasses. I wish I could do a torrid haul. I don't got the money for that shit. Jamie, you're sweetie. Oh. I hope everyone has a good rest of their day. I'm going to have some orange chicken rice and dried strawberries for dinner. Have a good night. Enjoy yourself. That sounds delicious. Some orange chicken and rice. I love orange. Oh, my God. Freaking Panda Express's orange chicken. And then their Benji and beef. I love freaking Panda Express. Yeah. That's true. I could go. You never had Panda Express? What kind of beef? Benji Homemade orange chicken is the best. I've never tried that. Ooh. You're eating at Olive Garden today, but don't know what to get? The tour of Italy, man. You never, you never say, it's never bad having the tour of Italy at freaking Olive Garden. Mmm. Mmm. I love 
Alice, you say you're 44 years old, but again, you're acting like a child. Like you're a grown-ass woman. It's, it's, it's like, I don't know. I, I, I really think you need to, like, reestablish how you treat people. Because you're sounding really dumb. I love spring rolls, yes. Don't get the crap. See, the thing is, is like, um, I don't like Panda Express's, uh, uh, like, uh, fuck, I can't even think of it. Hello, Shannon. Never mind. <sighs> Sweet and sour chicken and fried rice. Oh. Yum. With the green and yellow bell peppers? Yes. Yes. Mmm, that sounds wonderful. No. My brain is not working. I apologize. Maybe I do have brain cancer as well. That'll be funny. <laughs> I slowly lose my mind because of brain cancer. That 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 would be that would be like, yep, Shannon, that that would happen with your fucking life. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a dark sense of humor. Forgive me for that. Chasu pork. What is chasu pork? I've never heard of it before. That sounds good. <laughs> I never heard of it. Beef and broccoli. See, that's that's another one. <laughs> I'm not much of a meat eater. My daughter said it was because I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> goes in ramen oh now i know what you're talking about that stuff is good i love homemade ramen i don't like the freaking packaged ramen but if it's like made authentically it's, it's good especially um miso miso soup ramen oh. To me, I think miso soup is better than chicken noodle soup mm -hmm. when you're sick. That's just my thing. Ha ha ha, Ted. I love my lesbians. I'll just say that. I love my lesbians. Pizza is the best food in subs. Yeah, pizza is the best food. I do agree. I get black garlic miso ramen near me. It's astounding. Oh. Yum. Yum. You know what's funny? With inflation, everything's gotten so expensive that if you look at the prices at a Japanese restaurant, it's not that bad now. <laughs> like, if I want to spend... What would I rather spend my money on? Like, if I had, like, $10, okay? I could spend my $10 on getting some miso soup and some noodles that are really good, or I could get, like, a burger at... McDonald's 
you know what would feel better in my stomach? The miso soup and the noodles. I'd rather have that. I got a boat with a hole in it. Oh, no. Put some duct tape on that shit. <laughs> I need a sugar daddy to feed me and rev. Oh my god. Ten egg rolls. Dude, ten egg rolls? You can get ten egg rolls for ten dollars. I'm very particular on my egg rolls though. I don't like the saucy egg rolls. I like the egg rolls that are filled up with a bunch of veggies and shit. Hi, cat. I need a sugar mama or sugar daddy or or both, man. I could have a sugar daddy and a sugar mama. They're fucking hot. <laughs> you want to feel my titties? Sure. Here you go. Feel my titties. Thank you for the money. I'll go pimp somewhere else. <laughs> Lucky girl. Hubby bought, brought some chalupas and churritos and nacho fries for our son from Taco Bell. What's my body wash? My go-to body wash? Do you really want to know what, like, the number one body wash I ever had was? If I was going to get a body wash, I can't afford it now, but... If I was going to get a really good body wash, it would be the Rose Jam Body Wash from Lush. Oh, it smells so good and it just, it makes your bathroom smell like roses and you smell like roses and it's sweet and yummy and goodness. And <sighs> So yeah, I would pick Rose Jam. If not, I would choose the Love products that you can get, I think, at like Target or like Walgreens. In the rose scent. Shani, I hear your tummy rumbling. Do you have food? Not really. <sighs> That's one of my favorite. Lush is the best. I know. <laughs> You, you dislike body wash? You prefer bar soap? Like Dove? Like if I was doing bar soap, it's always going to be Dove. Always Dove. Some bologna and bread. And a little bit of milk. My head hurts. It's so itchy. Like this psoriasis is driving me absolutely bonkers yeah exactly the white dove bar soap is the best I love that smell my favorite toothpaste brand what is that called that cinnamon taste and toothpaste called I forgot what it's called Rembrandt, maybe? I, is that it? Rembrandt? <laughs> That's my favorite. But I usually get, like, Colgate. Oh, the kid's Colgate. Yeah, that's my favorite toothpaste. Is the kid's Colgate. <laughs> I use the Colgate-type toothbrushes. <laughs> I have very dry skin and I am old, so oil of Olay. Oh my god, I need to get that for my face. Some oil of Olay face cream. Because, like, the thing is, is when you start going through the change, 
as a woman, you get like actually your skin gets so fucking dry, and you're always itching. <sighs> What shampoo? Pantene? Or Trisomy? That's what I use. Pantene or Trisomy? 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 Ooh la la! How long does the change take? It depends on your body, man. depends on your body you know per, per, I start perimenopause I started at about 35 um, my periods haven't stopped but they have like shortened to like every three weeks so that's what's going on is my periods are every three weeks but it can be 10 15 years like, your periods could stop, like, at 55, but yet you start perimenopause and the change, like, 35. And get the agent serum. Okay. If you, if you ever look at my TikTok, you'll see my hair. It's horrible. It's just a frizzy nightmare. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello Ashley, welcome to be welcome to my channel. How are you? I have 50 hot flashes a day. Oh god, I'm not I'm not up there. I wouldn't want to go up there. But yeah, I've had like four today hot flashes. You'll know instantly when I have a hot flash, I start stripping fucking clothes off. <laughs> I put the, like honey can you put the fan on me, please? Now. now. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, night sweats. You wake up and everything's fucking soaked. Yep, been there. I get I get night sweats and, and, and hot flashes usually like a week or two before my period. Oh, I'm sorry. You just got kinky hair. It's okay. Have you ever thought, like, have you ever thought about maybe using some kind of African-American products for, for your hair if it's, like, frizzy like that? Because that might help you. Like, some, like, um, products that have, uh, uh, the cocoa, the cocoa oil, or the cocoa, yeah. <sighs> Next time you have hot flashes, can you do a live? Yeah, I, I'm sure I'll remember to turn on my camera as soon as I have a hot flash. <laughs> you look like an inverted cotton swab. Yes, night sweats every night. My doctor said I'm no close to being done. The, oof. <laughs> oh my God. Frizzies is awesome. Okay. What do you owe my God in, cat? Because I recommended an African-American product to a white person because their hair is frizzy. That's stupid. Anyway. Oh, you said you strip when you have hot flashes, so do a live. That's why I said it. <laughs> no, I haven't because I'm white, and I've always been embarrassed to go into the shop. I think they'll just make fun of me. No, I don't, I don't think they'd make fun of you. I think they'd understand, and they'd probably help you, you know, Get a product that's really good for your hair. Aw, nerdy. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. 
you should try. I don't think they judge you for that. I don't think so. There's plenty of people who do that. You know, there's, 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 there's mixed girls that have to do it. So like, yeah. Yeah, do the orange chicken cooking stream. That'd be cool. I've never made orange chicken. I would have to look up a recipe. Maybe like use marmalade marmalade for it. I would I would assume. Hold on, guys. Marmalade. I'll be right back.